welcome to another process video. I'm going to be slow stitching and making a little button jar. I don't know about you, but I love collecting my buttons in a jar. Let me pull you closer so you can get a little look. I'm using an old fleece blanket but you could use wadding or what else can you use? Maybe an old sock, any fabric. Use what you have. And I've drawn out a little jar. You can go on Google Simple Images and just, or freehand it. I've folded it in half and made it symmetrical. But you can have a wonky jar. There aren't any rules in our slow stitching, are there? I'm going to pin that on. And cut that out. There we are. And then, oh, fetch one of my button jars. And I'm going to... Fill it, fill my jar with buttons. I can I can make a little document and pop this on my community tab and in the description so you can print this one off if you like. And then it's just a case of sewing the buttons on really no rhyme or reason and they can overlap and what gave me the idea to do this wow last week do you remember it was when we just came back from holiday and i made this little ribbon I loved making it and I so enjoyed putting the buttons on and I thought, oh, do you know, I want to do a project where I'm literally sorting through the button jars and tins. And sewing the buttons on. So I thought, oh, I'll do a, can you see it takes me, look, I'm getting in a knot and Oh, just take a breath. This is slow stitching. Mm. Yes, yeah, so on the comments on that video, Helen said to me, Oh, I like your button jar, Janet. You've got a nice selection of that. She said she liked button jars. And I thought, I said, oh, yes, yeah. so we had this conversation in the, in the comments. And, oh, that's a nice one with a black outline. Mm. So I thought, oh, why not combine sewing buttons on and making the button jar, can you see it's got netting over it to make it look like a jar? <laughs> I think you call, in America, you call netting tulle, don't you? Now, this is all about relaxation, really. <clears throat> when I wasn't well, I used to sort through my mum's button tin as a child. I used to love it, the colours and counting them and, oh, tip out some more. It's just nice to run our fingers through buttons, isn't it? And we can put big or small. I'm putting them right up next to one another. 
I'll show you later as I sewed the backing onto this and the netting they all scrunkled up really so it looks like they're in a jar I'm not actually overlapping them as I'm sewing them on oh just take a breath and this is ideal because you can take this anywhere just any time you want to relax just sew another button on you don't have to get it finished in a hurry look i've made this tea i'm going to have a little sip of it mm. Oh, lovely. Do you collect your buttons in a jar or a tin? Mm -hmm. Oh, a little heart-shaped button. How delightful. And it's got three holes as well. That's so unusual. Some are vintage. Some are new. Quite a lot of them have been sent in happy mail to me. Thank you so much. Mm. As you can see, really relaxing. them out on the tray and look what I found in there. A ship button. Oh, I wonder, did you send me this one? Let me know if you did. Isn't it glorious? I'll keep that by. It doesn't matter if there's gaps, but I think there's room for a little one here. Just a little sort through. I didn't even have the camera on, Katie. Look at that. Oh, that. So I'm going to take the netting and pop it over the jar bit. I'm going to leave the lid bit free from netting. So let's pop that on. Let me just get a pin. Pin that and I'm going to Ask WYSIWYG, where are you WYSIWYG? Here we are. <laughs> Here's young WYSIWYG. Have you got any scraps for me that are bigger? Ah, there you go. Bigger scraps. That's perfect for the backing WYSIWYG. Thank you. <laughs> so let's put right side out it does have a slight little pattern on it oh i'm not ironing it am i so right side out and then i've got my button jar and then the tool oh, lovely so i'm going to pin that on all round you can see they're quite flat and you'll see now then when I start to sew that it sort of bunches up and goes even more jar like. Now this is slow stitching. Just stitch them together and they don't have to be neat stitches. Whatever stitches help you relax really. There's no pressure. I'm just tending at the moment just to do in and out stitches. I'm saying that every week now, aren't I? Oh, have you got any ideas? Would you like to make a button jar? Maybe you could, oh, you could make them um, a theme for a journal, like a farm theme or colours, like all, all one colour. Or Christmas, or Christmas colour buttons. Oh, I'm just going to go all the way round, making a little, making a little sandwich. So I'm catching 
the netting the tool whoops it's come out i need to make like a little knot first so in and out catching a bit of the tool a bit of the button jar with whatever you're using and then a bit of the backing fabric and you're going to go all the way around and i'm just going to sew all the way around and all the way across the button jar so relaxing you can see now how they've all bunched up it's lovely isn't it oh i do love a button jar and now yeah it's just a case of snipping it all the way around really oh and i'm gonna just even this netting up along the top that's it. Put the, all the little bits in my little bits and bobs. Scripts and scraps, that's what I call it, isn't it? Scripts and scraps part. For another time. Trim round and then I've just got this shiny thread here. And I put it along the top just to make the jar lid bit. So I think it's probably time for us to sit and have a nice cup of tea together now, don't you? And have a little chat. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us. There he is this morning. Oh, it's elevenses here. We've had a we've had our walk, and I've got a nice coffee and a a banana. A nice healthy snack today. <laughs> mm. Oh. Don't, Buttons just bring back such lovely memories, don't they? We've been um, sewing in, I think, today, Flo. Oh, I see that you've made a little button jar too. Oh, it's lovely, Flo. I love it. It's that time in the video again to meet some people that you've seen in chat, in, in the lives, or you've seen in the comments of the videos. Meet Lisa. Lisa. And, and here's her lovely dog, Doris. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> She's doing brilliant since her crucial ligament, Janet. Operation. She's got all the muscle back into her legs, haven't you? Good girl. He's a good girl. Is mummy just there, isn't you? <laughs> Yeah, you're a tiny girl. You're a tiny little baby. Yeah. And her cats too. Tilly. Annie. Minnie. Derek. And Kitty. <laughs> oh, lovely. Just including a video. Of Rodney. Hi Rodney. Hi. You okay? You all snuggly and buggly. <laughs> We've got Rodney and Albert and a Derek. Um, just wanted to show you some of the crochet blankets that we've got. I'm sorry about the mess but they seem to they like to scratch them up and um <laughs> and enjoy them. This was made just doing um 
just cup two or three strands of um, wool um, and then once it finished each strand may be finished like odds odds and bits I just tied another one on or two and then just carried on just a basic crochet stitch but yeah this is Rodney and then up here Mabel Mabel Mabel's hi Mabes hi this one's Mabel. Thank you so much, Lisa. Don't feel any pressure to to share, but it, it and it's but it's if you feel able, it, it's really lovely to and meet people, isn't it? Mm. Lovely crochet, by the way, Lisa. Mm. Shall we light the candle? Yes, let's do that. Just a little bit of quiet time. Just a little bit of peace in a stressful, stressful world, really. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, you're ready, aren't you, for that treat? Is there room for me to sit in here? That's it, shut up a bit. That's it. Oh, room. There you go. Oh, that's half of the big one. Some of the flower ones. Nice. seems to be growing well. I have to put that in in a dinner. Mm. After the rain. Oh. Beautiful. This is Golden Jubilee, this rose. Mm. I'm being very meta taking a picture of you taking oh, a picture did you get it yeah uh, are you going to paint katie does watercolors don't you i do yeah you're going to do some painting yeah i could yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful meadow see don't they yeah Aww. oh yeah nice because you'd been there hadn't you years ago yeah.